been working pretty hard at getting this vinyl wall installed. Had to remove an old wood wall. And now we're um, started with the concrete cap. We've got a lot of forming to do, as you can see here, to get this concrete cap put in place. We've got three quarter plywood that goes back into corrugation. Try to keep the concrete from leaking between uh, the vinyl sheet. Runs the whole length of the wall. Got to get it supported properly because that concrete is pretty heavy. We got holes drilled in this top wheeler right here. You can see the holes here. We got rebar that's going to be going into that. And then we'll have four runs of rebar running all the way down the wall. And the uh, chair rebar or the box rebar that goes over the wall is going to be on a foot and a half centers all the way down. This is our, our forming material that we put underneath the three-quarter plywood. We've got two befores on one-foot centers, then we laid the three-quarter plywood on top of it. You can see here the uh, rebar that I mentioned earlier that uh, is on one-foot six-inch centers. We'll take four rebars and tie that out also. Each corrugation of the vinyl is just a little bit different, so it's hard to get all the plywood cut consistently inside. So what we do is take a little bit of the expanding foam and put it into cracks. We'll take a razor knife and trim that off nice and even so it doesn't leave an impression in the concrete after we pour it. Now we got all the rebar installed, so it's time to start putting the front form up and the back form up. This is 16 inches, both of them are. We try to get them uh, set up far enough that we have at least two inches to two and a half inches of concrete coverage on the rebar on the front side and the back side. The wall support system, otherwise known as the tie back or dead mid system, tends to get in the way of the form boards, so we're having to notch the form boards just a little bit to get around all the tie back rods. Concrete tends to stick to the uh, plywood form boards, so we spray them so it gives an easy release of the form boards when we go to remove them. Getting the 3000 PSI concrete installed here. We're also using a vibrator to vibrate all the air pockets out of the concrete and also helps the concrete settle in place nice and easy. If you don't do this, when you take the form boards off, a lot of times you have air pockets and voids in the concrete. It doesn't look very good and takes a lot more work to get a nice smooth finish. If you over vibrate the concrete, you can get what's a, called a blowout on the forms which is a big mess because the concrete just pours out all over the place.
it's not too often that we get to do concrete caps. I think it gives it a real nice, secure finish. This is actually a 16 by 20 inch wide cap. You see it ties the vinyl, the whaler, everything together. So this is a definite long-term fix for this project. Once you get the concrete in place, then comes the fun part, the smoothing part. It's kind of a waiting game. you got to wait till the concrete actually starts setting up before you can start getting it finished out. This project here actually took us a while. We received the concrete at 2 o'clock, and we did not get finish, finishing the concrete till 9.30 that night. It was definitely a long day. We're pouring a little extra concrete in the bucket here just in case we need some extra when we start finishing and the concrete truck's going. You can see here the men did a real good job on getting the forms installed. We don't have any leaks in the concrete at all. We do get a little bit of uh, concrete that runs down the vinyl wall as we're vibrating. What we do is we just get some water in a little bucket and wash that off the wall. We do control joints every 10 foot on the concrete and we also do a little eased edge on the interior side. The front side has a 45 degree angle that's built into the form so when we take it off you got a 45 degree angle up top. stuff smoothed out. Hey guys, sorry I didn't get a video posted last week. We've been really busy on this project. As soon as we get all the form boards taken off today and the project cleaned up, I'll get the total project from beginning to end posted. And if you would, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and like and share. That definitely helps me out. Y'all have a great day. Thanks.